hey, this is how to set up a reviews feed in Google Merchant Center next. So just firstly, what is a reviews feed in your or on your shopping listings that appear up at the top for a search term, for example? What you can do is upload your product reviews that you've collected on your website through a third party reviews aggregator. You can upload those reviews into the Merchant Center and have those reflected on your product listings like these examples here. So to set that up, head into Google Merchant Center next. Again, this is the latest version of Google Merchant Center. Now, as you can see here, down on the left here, we don't have a product reviews tab. So we need to enable the product reviews tab first. So to do that, go to the settings icon up at the top here and go to add-ons. Now, as you can see here, we've got two tabs. So we've got your add-ons and then we've got discover. So your add-ons are all the add-ons that have been enabled already. And this Discover tab is obviously all the add-ons that haven't been added to the account already. So head into Discover and then head down to Product Ratings over here. We need to enable this specific feature here. And then we'll also need to enable this Google Customer Reviews feature here. So let's actually just start with this feature. So just hit Add and then click Add there. And as you can see, that'll load and then it'll add that um, add-on into your add-ons. So that's everything you need to do here. Go to discover again and then enable the product, uh, sorry, the product ratings feature down over here. So in order to enable this, you first have to, sorry, you first have to fill out this specific form over here. So open that form up and it'll just ask you for a couple basic pieces of info. So first, um, do you work with a third party reviews aggregator? 90% of the time you will. So for example, if we just head on over to this brand here that we'll be setting this up for, they use a third party reviews aggregator called Judge Me. And in my experience, this is by far one of the best uh, review aggregators out there, both from a pricing perspective and just a user friendliness uh, or user friendly perspective, etc. cetera. Um, huge number of brands use this, I'd say, maybe 60% of brands use this app to collect their, their third party reviews, or sorry, their, their product reviews. So just in terms of filling out that form, uh, we obviously do use a third party review aggregator, but we wanna submit this feed into the Merchant Center ourselves. So hit that second option there, yes, but I'd like to submit it myself. Then what products, sorry, what type of products you sell, uh, this is for physical and or digital products. You can leave the other two options and then do you currently have more than 50 reviews? It doesn't really matter what you select here, but um, ideally you need to have over 50 reviews in order to submit that feed into the Merchant Center. So even if you don't have 50 reviews, just select yes. And that'll open up the rest of this section here for you to fill out. So in this first tab, enter your merchant name, which is just to pull this up. This will unfortunately be blurred, but it'll be this name up at the top right over here. Your merchant name would be the name that appears there. And then your merchant ID is the ID number or the number that appears below that name. And obviously that would get submitted into this merchant center ID column here. Then your merchant center, or sorry, your merchant homepage URL. So this is your store URL, your first name, last name, and then and then your company name that you work for, your email address. And then if it says, do you shop in comparison service, sorry, do you use a, a comparison shop, shopping service? Um, don't select either option here. You can get away with not selecting um, either of these. So just leave that blank and then hit submit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this out. So I'll fill in all of that info and then I'll hit submit down at the bottom over here. And it should give me kind of a thank you page. So there we go. So our email has been sent and it should take about 15 minutes for this info to be approved. And once it has been approved, if we refresh this page here, it should allow us to add that add-on in the Merchant Center. So just give that a sec to load. So as you can see, that's still gray. Once, sorry, once that's been approved, um, we'll be able to add it using that little add button there. Just to reference, if you have any issues with the info that you've submitted into that form, you'll get a conf or you'll get an email kind of detailing what went wrong with that. Um, you'll also get a confirmation email once you've sent that form in for review. So just keep an eye out for that in your Gmail inbox as well. So as you can see here, um, I didn't even have to hit add on that product ratings feature. It was automatically added into your add-ons over here. 
Um, so as you can see there, that is enabled. So head out of that and then go to, or now you'll see the reviews tab appear down on the bottom left of your drop down menu over there. So click on that and in the reviews tab here, there should be two tabs. So one for uh, the Google customer reviews and then the second for your actual reviews uh, that you've submitted into the Merchant Center yourself. So if for whatever reason that's not appearing, just sign this agreement just to make sure that that is out of the way. So just hit agree and continue down at the bottom over here. And then don't set this up. We're gonna import the reviews manually ourselves. We're not gonna um, essentially ask Google to collect reviews for us. So just head out of there. And as you can see there, your product reviews tab would have appeared um, up at the top over there. So click on that and we're gonna to need to add a, a feed into this product reviews tab to push reviews from the website and from that judge me third party reviews aggregator into Google Merchant Center. So to do that, just hit product review data sources um, over there. And then we're gonna add product reviews and now it'll ask us for a link to our file. So to find this link, um, head back to Shopify. And if you in judge me, I'll show you the process to set this up, but if you're in any other app, essentially what or how this works is it uses what's called an XML feed. So xml.xml at the end of the URL. Just to kind of give a, a quick overview in terms of how this works. So essentially it's a cloud-based system. So you have your store reviews on this side, you have um, you know the merchant center on this side, and then you've got obviously your reviews stored in some sort of cloud uh, based software or on a server somewhere. So essentially that XML, so the XML um, URL, that URL is given to you by your third party aggregator and essentially allows you to pull those reviews from that XML feed into, um, or sorry, creates an XML feed from those uh, reviews and pushes that into the server and then you can access that feed from the server um, in the Merchant Center or in any sort of software that you need to link that reviews feed to um, via that XML URL. So just heading to that setup in Judge Me, go to Marketing and Social up at the top here, or sorry, on the left here, and then go to Google and SEO and then Google Shopping. And then you'll have to enable or generate the product reviews feed here. Now, as you can see here, we've got our XML URL there. And that is the URL that we need to copy and paste into the Google Merchant Center. So you can just hit copy there. Again, this is how you set it up in Judge Me. If you're using a different uh, reviews aggregator, just search around in the view reviews aggregator uh, settings or contact support or whatever to find this XML URL. So copy that and then um, we'll just save these changes just that we've enabled this feed and then head back to the Merchant Center and paste your XML URL into there. Once you've done that, then just hit continue and that should set up that feed for you. Just give that a second to load. Okay, as you can see here, that feed has been connected correctly. The reviews haven't uh, pushed into the uh, Merchant Center just yet. Obviously we've only just connected that feed. So I don't know how long this will take to pull through. Normally it can take a day or so to pull through, but just hit update a couple times and you might start seeing the reviews pull through. Now, if you wanna rename that feed, uh, just go to data source setup and you can rename that here. So we'll just call that judge me reviews feed and then you can hit save. And then you can exit out of here and go back to the reviews tab over here. So as you can see, all the reviews from Judge Me on the website have actually pushed in already. So that was quite a quick setup. This can take a little bit longer. So as you can see, all the reviews are appearing here, and these will reflect on the relevant products once the sorry, reflect on the relevant products once those reviews have been reviewed by Google. Just to mention that. This status up at the top here does take about two weeks to become um, active. This is totally up to Google when this actually switches to active. Again, once you've set up your reviews feed, um, you just leave this until Google automatically or until Google automatically switches that to active.
again, that can take up to, you know, two to three weeks to, to become active. Just to reference, if for whatever reason your reviews get disapproved, the way Google matches reviews that are submitted into the Merchant Center and reviews, or sorry, reviews that are submitted into the Merchant Center and ma matching those specific reviews with the, uh, you know, with the relevant product in the Merchant Center, they don't match that using the review ID. They match that review based on the GTIN value that is submitted into Shopify for the product that the review was left on. So if for whatever reason, again, all these reviews keep getting disapproved and aren't getting reflected on your shopping listings in the Merchant Center, make sure that you've added your GTIN values for each of your products into the GTIN value section here in Shopify. So the barcode uh, slash GTIN value section, and that'll be that value there. Normally this would be an 11, 12, 13 or 14 digit number that will then match with that same value that was submitted with the product into the uh, rev sorry into the product feed on the merchant center side so we might find some issues with this reviews feed given that this isn't i believe a correct gtin value but we'll troubleshoot that later on but again if you run into um you know reviews getting disapproved just make sure that your gtin values match up between the products that you submitted into the merchant center and the products that you or sorry, the GTIN values that you added into uh, your product section on 